DC Young Fly. When we were on our phone call, you did say something that struck me that I'm gonna repeat. Right. You said, we have wisdom in our back pocket and that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps you going. Nothing could have prepared me for anything I'm going through instead of past trauma and knowing that he helped me through those traumas. So when I lost my cousin, this was the most angry I've ever been in my life. And think about it, y'all. She was an innocent bystander, so which means she got killed, does not have nothing to do with her, the bullet wasn't for her, so it's like, okay, this could be any of y'all. <laughs> Going down the street and then bye-bye. But that's your life, somebody gotta learn from it. So what I had to learn from it was, we don't control nothing that goes on in our life. So now that I know that I, I can't control it, what I've been praying and what I've been reading, I got to use it. Yeah. That was the only way that I could have even dealt with the queen of my children. So when that happened, I was like, OK, I done been through this before. All right, I know not to act like that, because woo, that was, I scared you myself. You mean you've been through so much loss? I have been through so much loss when it's like emotionally, like I'm, I'm numb to death because I'm used to it since 16. So every death is a different reaction. Mm. So when my cousin, I was angry. Yeah. When my father died, I was at peace. When my best friend died, I was confused. Now, when my girl died, I'm shocked. And who is this for? Because this not only affects me, it affects my children. They have went through something that I ain't even been through. You know? What so, do you tell them? The crazy part about it, my children, and, 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 and it's like, you hear it even through their responses, because my, my second daughter, Nala, she'll just come out of the blue and be like, what's wrong, Daddy? You okay? Don't worry. Everything gonna be okay. That's the spirit. Mm. So when I leave and I hear my oldest daughter, Nova, she say, oh, I heard auntie in there crying. I told her, Daddy said, stop crying. We're supposed to be strong. We're going to be all right. I said, that's the spirit letting me know that they on their way. They built for it. It's going to be hard, but they built for it. And these are, like he said, we don't get to choose. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. It's hard. Every day, still to this day, it's like it, it feels like a dream, feel like she's going to walk in. But it's like, you know what, you got to snap into reality and understand saying, you know what, y'all haven't seen me go through past trauma. Y'all got to see me go through this one. So this is different for me because now I got to live this with y'all. Yeah. And I'm a private. Like, I'm, I really don't even want y'all in my business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just so, I'm just and that this private. Is, trust me, but this it's is like, absolutely it's true like, of him. Ah, I got to talk. Ah, I got to tell somebody. Ah. I got to lend a helping hand when I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. And one thing I know that is always going to be good on the other side of the door. It always been. God done bless me too, too much and enough every day I see it. Even when I wake up, I'm just like, all right, I lost my girl, but I gained her three times. Oh, you know, and I feel like we, we all are... Uh, uh, are so accustomed to missing the physical presence when knowing that that's really the only thing that's promised to us is we all going to leave one day. Yeah. We just don't know when. Yeah. But knowing that I know that she's covered and she's protected gives me a sense of, of comfort when I'm like, okay, I know she's protected. Yeah. It's just these days that I have to prepare to fight, I want to make sure I'm studying correctly. I want to make sure my energy is protected. I want to make sure I don't lash out because I'm human, like I said. So I'll be honest, that doesn't mean that you don't look up and say, why me? This isn't fair. I now have three beautiful children. I had the love of my life. My career is exploding. Why now? I know you're not supposed to question, mm -mm. but as you said, we are human. Mm -mm. You never did. When you, when you read the Bible, you, you got to have a, a certain understanding and a certain discipline to lean on. Yeah. You want to sit here and say, why me, instead of asking, why not me? Right. There's so much stuff that's going on in the world 
Your heart got to be pure. Your soul got to be pure. Mm. I ain't saying that my mind is all, listen. <laughs> Cause my mind messed up. <laughs> but one thing I know that my mind is not in control. My heart, heart and my soul is. Yes, yes, yes. I love that.